Hello and welcome back to another episode of Nowhere Gaming with your gamer wise guy. Let's get right into it. Uh, the stench of the bog fades into memory, and a land of great beauty lies before him. In a, a bog. paradise where nature lives in harmony with all living creatures. Indeed, a refuge for those who wish it. Oh, I wish he it. Is close now. Close to the old gods and the old ways, mm -hmm. long forgotten by men, this kingdom was once revered by all. Mm -hmm. Yet now only a small part remains. Uh -huh. Soon even this will disappear. The amulet senses its master. The its one ring senses Sauron. He will need all his strength now, all his wits. If he is to succeed here, if he is to convince the old god, to help him. Why don't I just convince the new god to help me? I feel like that might be a better... I don't know. I'm already kind of a holy man. What's this thing? Okay. Uh, perhaps you can... Okay, it's gonna be like a puzzle kind of thing. Stra <laughs> strap in, ladies and gentlemen. Puzzles are not my strong suit. <laughs> All right. Which means I'm going to have to look out for these things. Click. This might be really embarrassing, too. Just to... Give me this guy. Is it a scroll? It's a scroll. The ravaged corpses of my brothers lie scattered everywhere. I am great at voices. I feel guilty looting the bodies of my comrades. But I must find more life gems or I am lost, too. Forgive me, my brothers. I won't last long unless I increase my chances of survival. And the dead have no use for such things anymore. I know that there is a life gem nearby. I can sense it. But I just need to rest for a moment. I feel so weak. Bleh. That was him dying. The, the bleh sound. Alright, so. Cameras do tricky things in games. Ah, oh, <laughs> you see? How would you even know unless you were looking on the outskirts? Like I was saying, cameras do tricky things when they're fixed like this. Oftentimes, if you kind of go to the edges of screens and you, you kind of stretch the camera out a little bit like I just did, um, sometimes you'll just find what you're looking for. And that's another. That's three. What's down the rabbit hole? Another dead man. Oh, that one has a life gem. That must be the one the other guy was looking for. And then promptly died. Waterfall with nothing. What's back up the rabbit hole? Alright. And moving on. Is there going to be any enemies in this level? Is there just going to be this? Uh-huh. Okay. Is there anything? I, I gotta look. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I gotta look. Just gotta explore a little bit. Kinda seems like I could go that way if I wanted to. I guess I don't want to. What do you have to say there, there chap? What do you gotta say there, friend? My darling Martha, I fear that I am not going to make it back. Look after yourself and our beloved daughter. God forgive Dada. God forgive me for falling at m in my task. Know that you will always be in my heart, and that one day we will be together again. Your loving husband, loser. I'm down into this very, uh, crevasse-looking opening. I'm not going to comment more on that. Yep! No, give me the... You cannot reach this brotherhood. Don't don't tell me things like that. You ruin. You just took me right out of the games. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, aspiring game designers, don't take the player out of the game every ten seconds by telling him something like that. It just ruins uh, the whole mystique of everything. And yes, tutorials sometimes are needed. Can I go down here? As seen before in uh, the previous episode. However, not just just be sparing with them. Just 
When something isn't obvious to do for a player to do, then pop up with a tutorial. Teach them once, and then let them go on. Okay. Oh, lord. Okay. Let's see what we got. Let's just... Oh, do I have to match it to my bar on the side there? Is that is that what I must do done? That's what I'm going to do. This little fairy. I remember this puzzle, though. Yep. I remember this because <laughs> the first time I didn't find that rune that was up in that little secret area, so I just had to guess. And it was kind of frustrating, but... I got it now. Into the next vagina, I mean, crevasse. Up into this. Oh, it's so pretty. I wonder who the art designer was on this, because they, they did a job. They did their job. The music's not half bad either, although... Although, my beef, my only beef with the music... Do people still use the term beef when they have a problem? My chicken with this music... Uh, my my radishes with this music is it's fine it's great it's fantastic um, if I would ever shut up you could listen to it but they didn't add the two staple pieces for Castlevania and that's Vampire Killer and Bloody Tears and I'm not gonna sing them because you would instantly stop watching but uh, you can look them up um, somewhere on the internet I'm sure and they're they've been with the series for you know as long as they've been going. Um, I think one came later. I think Bloody Deers was in Castlevania 2, or one of the... I don't know. Maybe that was Vampire Killer. But, uh... Show yourself. Yeah, Your get out of here. Your help. I need your help. Yep. I know who you are, Gabriel. Well, so does Patrick Stewart, I apparently. I guardian of the Lake of Oblivion, uh -huh. where the living can communicate with the dead. You sound like my horse, Tell Pablo. Me, warrior, are you aware of what is happening in the world? This is very Guillermo del Toro character here. We like straight out of his God. book. Creatures from the void come to claim the souls of men. To wipe mankind from the face of the earth. He's got a nice voice. And what of the elders of your order? What do they think? That God has not abandoned us. They believe that a powerful spell has been unleashed by someone or something. A spell that has isolated our world from the heavens. Oh no. Cutting us off from God and allowing evil to flourish unchecked. Oh, that I sucks. the Brotherhood of Light sent to you to the Lake of Oblivion. They have dreamt that a message Apparently to ride horses. This lake. A message that holds a clue to our salvation. I was instructed to seek you out in the hope that you may show me the path. The elders believe that these dreams are the last message from the heavens and that you should know something that we are unaware of. Is that it? You yes. seem to know more than I do. My I wife, Marie. Remember that love was thing? murdered not two days ago by the evil that roams these lands. Two days ago? God, that's Her fresh. Her soul and those of the recently departed are trapped here. I can excuse his broodiness a little bit. And that is why Two days. they sent you to the Lake of Oblivion, because they believe that she is waiting for you here. She's not. To deliver a message to you. Maybe yes. she is. I don't know. Will you help me? Only the most deserving of the living are worthy of speaking to the dead. Okay. Are you worthy, Gabriel? I guess we're about to find out, aren't we, video game? You have giant gross hands, by the way. The hairy wrists? I don't know. Can't be too popular with the ladies. Unless that's what goat ladies are into. I mean, a satyr, I believe, is what that is. A satyrist for the lady satyrs? I don't know. Oh, hmm. Hello, Edgar Allan Poe. Pit in the pendulum. Okay. Found a scroll. Uh, to reach Marie before she dies, you must find a path. Well, try to overcome your sorrow. You may avoid demise. Choose only one direction. Ha, <laughs> that's a band. Zane's not in it anymore. You will lose a puzzle reward by unlocking the solution. Heck no. Heck no, I can do this. 
Oh god, and I remember this too. Uh, um, the controller is vibrating, and it's very unsettling with every swing of that pendulum. Um, that is a nice touch, though. It really makes you feel. Let's go. Oh, it only vibrates on the inner circle because you, you know you're close to it. Anyway, so I remember this puzzle a little bit. I don't remember the solution. Um, as you rotate one, the adjacent one rotates as well. So if you rotate this middle one, both of them rotate. You rotate this outer one, only the middle one rotates, and the inner one, only the middle one rotates. Um, so it's very... Huh. And I'm gonna, I don't want to cut away, but I'm going to be thinking. Because if I cut away, people are going to be like, Oh, you just looked it up and you just did it. Um, Alright, so let's just... Let's... Oh, yeah, my love. No. Uh, hmm. I know that there's probably someone out there that's way smarter than me. It's like, what are you doing? You, you've already, you've already doomed her. Eh, I'm probably going to kill her. Let's, let's be honest. Oh, okay. That. <laughs> Can I, wait, can I just reset this for free? Oh, pff. Oh, my lord. Ladies and gentlemen, aspiring game designers, uh, if you're going to have a puzzle as scary as this one, where you, you are literally saving the, I don't know, I guess it's the memory of his love, or maybe it actually is, and you have a way to solve the puzzle for free, although I lose my reward, of course, don't give me a reset on it. Then I can just, I can literally just trial and error this. I don't have to sit here and think about it. I don't care. I can just, I can just do this until something works. Um, and I know I figured this out before, but, uh, right. It can't be that. So let's see. I'm going to end up resetting this. Have it. So that's got to be there. And that's got to be... Okay. And that's got to be there. Oh, okay. So somehow, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, <laughs> I know there, there might be people watching, like tens of people, and two to three of you are screaming that you know the answer, and all you did was look at this um, puzzle once and was like, oh, well, the answer is obvious. Um, so let's start by getting you over here. I think you. Uh huh. Over here. And I think. Nope! <laughs> that was the wrong way. Because I don't know clockwise from counterclockwise, apparently. But I did just solve the puzzle, so that's good. Bloop! And there it is. Was everybody watching at home? Did everybody clock me? Was that 10, 15 minutes? I don't know. It was not that close. Game, don't do that. Alright, I'm gonna watch the cinematic and... Probably in this episode. There was no combat in these. But that's fine. You don't always need it. Oh, is this really her? Or a memory? Is she going to stab me? Oh, I stabbed her. Whoa. M. Night Shamamalane. Did you have something to do with this along with Guillermo del Toro? Gil Guillermo? De Bull? Oh, well. That's... Is that a hollow mask from Bleach? Did I turn hollow? 
What does this mean? Tell me. Only that you have passed the test. <laughs> and your eyes are worthy of entering the lake of oblivion. <laughs> uh huh. It seems cold. Make sure you have your daggers with you. One never knows when need may arise. Or a jacket? I don't know. That metal arm thing might be a little colder. Hopefully you wrapped it in leather or something. I don't know. I don't know how medieval armor works. What do I look like? A historologist? Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then make sure to share, like, and comment. You can also subscribe to ensure you're getting the latest updates from North by Nowhere, like our podcast and our Let's Plays.